Hi guys, it's Harry's Small World here, and today I'm just going to be showing you my new wheat farm prototype. It's not fully done yet, the wiring's all messy down below, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but as you can see, the walkthrough, nothing happens. That's because, so you can get in and out without having to do it. But if you want to activate it, you just press that lever there. But also, when you go in, as you can see, you can't get on to the actual wheat. So you can't destroy it because the soul sand there. I'll give a tutorial on actually how to build this when I've got it fully done. This is the reset to turn off the water. You can reach every single bit of this with your hand to replant and whatever you need to do. So basically, that is also for turning the water off if you're at this end. But you can unlock this. And as you see, it turns on. And if you press this button, the water turns back off. And you can also turn it on by walking on this now. Just get all the seeds and wheat and stuff. Yeah, I'm in creative. And then it turns off. So you could have this like you walk through. It turns off here. And then whatever. But if you want to replant, all you have to do is just get your seeds. Because I'm in creative. I didn't get any. Um, let me find some. Where are they? There we go. And as you can see, if you go to about the middle here, this one, you can get like practically everything without moving. So it's really good. Just hidden the wa water in there where to till the things. You probably don't have to use this much glowstone, but it does help for it to grow at night if you want it to be faster growing and stuff. But the way this works is if there is a soul sand and then too high, because the soul sand is slightly lower, it can't you can't quite fit up the um, the gap. So that you can replant all of it as you can see over there. And then when you walk out, it will come back on. But instead, you can lock it and walk back out if you want to come out this end. But normally you'd walk through, go out that end and then whatever. But yeah, I'll make a tutorial on this. Like once I've finished up all the wiring, made it a bit more simple. I'll just go down now and show you all the wiring. Oops, I'm not meant to destroy that crap. Yeah, them wires aren't meant to be connected there. But as you can see, basically, you come down here. Here's your stand, or my T flip flop that I like to use. This is a, below the pressure plate. And then torch there, wire there. Torch there. This is the reset, so that comes from the other side of the wheat farm. Just got a little repeater in there. And this is from the button. Now what it does is this is the lever. And it comes down, the power from the lever comes down here. Wait, yeah, this is the lever. It comes down here, across up here, through the repeater to give it a little bit of extra. Comes down here and into this. This is an AND gate. This gets turned off. And only when both of these turned off can this bit be activated, which sends the power this basically goes to the pistons, which um, I'll show you. As you can see, this part is from... So when that lever is turned, that turned off by the lever, this can be activated from here, which is the pressure plate, plate from the, on the T flip-flop, and it comes round here. Down, round here. Oh, you can't get over repeaters. Oh, I'll have to show you the other way. Um. Yeah, but then down there, and then this goes up to the piston, as you can see, and then that holds the water in place. Yeah, um, okay, that's pretty much it, I think. Just one last thing, and then I'll end it. But, anyway, yeah, where's the, where's the hole? Where is it? Where is it? Just cover that back over. Yep, so that's basically how that works. This is my little door thing I just made for my because this is my new creative mode, so I just wanted a little base thing. Which I'll make something nice and cool there. A couple of beds. <laughs> yep, anyway. I will make a tutorial and thank you for watching. I hope you liked. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I am getting a new mic soon, I think, as well, so that should help with the quality of the audio.
my new computer is here and you, as you can see it doesn't lag at all look in the channel description for like my specs and all that but yeah i'm really pleased with it i'm gonna make a let's play soon thank you for watching and um yeah goodbye thanks Thank you.